Let's see all the breakfast and plus TV Africa. Uh, let's look at a second conversation quickly. Now, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has scheduled to meet with the Nigerian Communication Commission, NCC, today as part of efforts to consolidate and plan for electronic transmission of results in the 2023 general elections. The meeting would include the chief of executive of four major telecommunication operators in the country on identified blind spots in the country's telecom communication infrastructure. Now, the INEC chairman said the commission was working with the NCC to find a solution for effective transmission of results from every part of the country in real time. The discussion, like I mentioned earlier on, will be centered around the access or centered around access and connectivity. Now, since the return to democracy in 1999, Nigerians or Nigerians have continued to hope for a better and more transparent election process that will give them the opportunity to use their vote and as their voices. Now, for the very first time, Nigerians feel that the days of election rigging are largely over with the introduction of the beavers as an electronic device that will be used to electronically accredit register voters within the polling unit and also transmit election results from polling units to the INEC server. Now, uh, there are several questions. Will the beavers prevent the rigging of the elections come 2023? Is access and connection seamless, you know, in the 774 local government across uh, the federation? These are some of the questions that we're asking now. We have our guests joining us this morning to make sense of the conversation. Uh, Dr. Chike. Good morning. Dr. Chike, it's good to have you join us. He's a senior lecturer in of School of Media and Communications uh, in Lagos. Thank you. Good morning, and thank you for having me today. All right, so um, I I'd like to ask, just uh, 81 days from the portal of INEC, countdown to the 2023 elections, do you think that um, we have enough time to solve the issue of access and connectivity across the 70, 774 local governments? Um, so I think the point necessarily, I mean, INEC isn't just on the election matters today. They have been on these for many years, so they know um, that they were going to um, transmit results um, using the electronic um, um, method rather than the manual method, right? So um, it's not just them um, counting from today, but this should be something that they should have um, prepared towards very well. In fact, they know so well that they would need to um, 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 do the right things and click the right button. So I think the timing isn't, isn't short. Rather, I think it's right. Because in fact, they have stressed over that they have um, done some test runs in rural Zanfara, as, as a hint uh, as that place could be. And even in some part in the west of Nigeria, I think somewhere in Ikiti or Ocean. So they uh, um, are on the right track. I don't think um, the, the timeline is a, a problem whatsoever because they're not just jumping on it now. They've been prepared and they know what to do. Uh, sh should the, the electoral umpire have uh, a, a second option, you know, some sort of uh, alternative um, if the BVAS doesn't work? Should they just say, you know what, we're going to have change our style, uh, have some, some alternative, you know, maybe allow, you know, manual uh, check. I know that you can be... You can be you can be you know you can be checked, but accreditation must be done biometrically. Um, should we just allow room for error? Call it that. Yeah. So um, this is what we should run away from. You know, um, trying to look for ways to say, okay, um, if um, um, this doesn't work, let's let's go back to to manual. We know how our country is, and if that that clause is is put in. I'm sure every uh, every other part, even where the electronic device can even work, they will tell you it can't work, and then they revert back to manual. I don't think that that should be an option. I mean, in everywhere in the world, Kenya had their election, and then they used the electronic uh, um, device, and then it worked well. Yes, there will be problems, but you cannot compare that with the manual manual um, um, voting. There are massive, massive problems with 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 the manual voting. The electronic voting uh, um, result transmission, I should I should say, um, would would reduce um, these um, um, election um, ele um, election um, inf um, infractions 
um, to a significant um, level. So I think that issue of, okay, let's let's have the manual as a backup shouldn't even be on the table. What INEC is doing now by having a meeting with NCC today to discuss on those issues and see how they can absolutely tidy up those um, um, blind spots and those parts where there will be um, poor or no network um, um, server or signal at all is what should is what we should be talking talking about rather than saying let's give room for okay it should be um, electronic transmission doesn't work due to um, data or server issues then we can revert back to manual I don't think that should be an option in fact the bank itself um, there are there are there are banks in in rural areas. I don't think people walk into banks and the cashier on point there wouldn't even check um, um, the system to be sure that the person has X Y Z amount of money before doling out such cash to the person. So um, if the banks can 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 do this, I don't see any reason why I yeah, should but, but stick the, the, to the banks are the banks are in mostly if you look at them they are in urban centers and that's what it is. We can't compare you know, the infrastructure that we have in urban centers without in the rural communities. Now, we also, I'm sure you want to agree with me that, you know, um, infrastructure, basic infrastructure also aid telecommunications, you know, to uh, establish their services uh, in these communities, especially when you look at developed climes. And so I don't know, you know, there are some villages that are very remote and very local in the sense that, you don't even have motorable roads in 2022. Not to even talk about having, you know, the infrastructure, basic infrastructure that should be in these communities. And then not to also talk about the fact that if you don't have this basic infrastructure, then you don't have the telecommunication present in this community. 81 days. I'm still asking, are we talking reality here? Or we're, you know, just trying to be very spiritual about it? <laughs> So I, I, I think I understand your, your concern. Um, I think it's a concern of a couple of persons. But like I said, INEC isn't just jumping on this today. They know these areas where there are connection issues. And that is why they have said that they are, that they are working with um, NCC. In fact, an association of, um, I think, tele, te, telecom practitioners or so, I'm not so sure what, 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 their, what their name is, they have written to INEC to say that they would support them, right? We've got the infrastructure, right, to, to, to ensure that people, that, that people can, can absolutely get connected, right, in these places. It's just about the, the willpower and, and the push. Even if we want to accept that, there's, that there are some parts in Nigeria where uh, the internet penetration is completely um, low or not even viable at all, but we would agree that these are just a significant, uh, insignificant number, right? And what INEC can do, given this, this period, working with the NCC, is to find ways to ensure that those areas can be connected properly. We have um, um, the infrastructure for this. Nigeria has... Has, has the highest, if not, right, the mobile pen penetration, you know, in Africa. We've got the size, we know what to do, and if we are ready, we can we can absolutely do it. And like I said again, it's, it's not a function of looking at it from now on, how many days to the elections. INEC isn't just getting on it today. Yes, they are having a meeting with the NCC today, but we know that modalities have been put in, put in place to ensure that real-time results are being released via the internet even in rural areas and they did say in in one of their 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 press releases that they have tried these in rural areas as as deep as zamfara is and it did work so if that can can work there i think it's just a little bit of um shake here and here here and there and we are at at, at the right place to go i just think that um Go on. Okay, uh, Dr. Mbadiche, um I mean, the government itself, if you look at the, uh, the, the, uh, the National Development Plan 2021 to 2025, which was launched last year by the President, Mahmoud Buhari, um, you look at the statistics, it, it shows that 301 local government areas at the time were without internet access in Nigeria. That's a lot. If you look at the fact that Nigeria has uh, 774 local government areas, even if they were to do anything about it, going by the plan of the federal government, the National Development Plan 2021 to 2025, and a lot of people don't know Nigeria has a development plan like China has because they're not seeing the results. If they will hit it, their plan 
is to ensure the projecting that 697 local governments will have internet access by 2023. And if you hear government cities, you probably think by the end of 2023 because of how things work in the country. But even if they were to achieve those 697 by the first day in 2023, you still will have 77 local government areas without internet access in 2023. This is a problem, isn't it? And it how, is a how, how can they surmount it if you agree it's a problem? So it is a problem, right? This, like, I mean, you know, the problem with us is we, we leave things to the last minute. And then we, we hound on it and then magnify it and then make it make it look so huge. The point is, INEC isn't just jumping on this bandwagon today. Yes, the government has, has identified this spot, but I still stress there are some villages where we've got penetrations of, 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 of mobile signals and internet, right? Even if the government is stressing and saying that the plan is in 2023, these 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 cards will then be connected, right? What has what has happened since then up to now? There has absolutely been a massive move. There are places you would you would get to, right, and you would never even believe that you would even have signals there. There are some mobile tel telcos that that have got high reach um, pen pen penetration. In fact. In the key point there, um, um, NCC stuff talked about um, working, working with the big four. And these big four do have the infrastructure to, to tie into these places. I do not think that um, the, the, the absolute need would be now to jettison to some extent um, the electronic stuff and then use manual for, those, for these areas. Election is not a day stuff. It's been planned for many years, and INEC knows what they have, they know their capacity, NCC knows their capacity, they know the infrastructure that, that, that they have. If they think that they can do this and, and transmit results in every part of the country, we cannot sit here and say they cannot. So, so because so I make have stressed... Yes, yeah, someone suggested the use of satellite technology. They, they should provide coverage you know, for these over 300 areas that don't have 3, 3G access. You, know, you think that is, is workable, you know, use of satellite technology? Uh, to cover these areas. Of course, that's 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 an option. That's that's an option, and that's why I go back to to to, to what I said before. Once the wheel is there, once we are ready to solve this problem, and we are ready to transmit these results live as they come in, it is hyper possible. It is just about the wheel. What you get right now are shady polit politicians and some party people saying, "Oh no, let's revert back to the old order." The old order can't take us anywhere. We All are right. not saying um, that. I mean, just quickly, we have to go now. Dr. Uh, Deche, we have to go now. But I'd like to just ask this one, maybe in a few seconds, if you can answer. Uh, what about the issue of hackers? Uh, do we have a strong firewall, you know, against uh, cyber crime and their gangs? We're saying that uh, the electronic transmission of results with the beavers. And let's not forget that, you know, cyber crime has been there for a while. Although, you know, it seemed to be very prominent, you know, right now in 2022 or prior 2022. So do you think that we have what it takes, you know, to fight against the cyber hackers and, and crime? Nigeria has the best brains, the internet brains, right? If Nigeria wants to get this right, we can get this right. We have the people to absolutely ensure that firewalls are placed and to ensure that these internet are absolutely safe and INEC can transmit results at the right time using the electronic um, trans transmission. It's about the willpower, and if they are ready, we can absolutely get it, get it done. We're not saying it's going to work the first time, but it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic first step in the right direction. In the next election, they would absolutely build on this election to ensure that we move forward. Kenya did. It started in 2013, moved to 2017, and had the, another election now, and we can see the progress there. And that is why we must ensure that INEC sticks to and sticks with their electronic transmission of results this time. Well, we have to go now. Thank you so much, Dr. Chike Mbea Deche, uh, for being part of the show. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. And that's the size of a package on the breakfast uh, on Plus TV Africa. We uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, your time thoroughly. Uh, we'll be back soon uh, on this station. But of course, don't forget you can follow us 
on our social media platforms across the various uh, social media sites, Plus TV Africa. And of course on YouTube we have two accounts, Plus TV Africa and uh, Plus TV Africa uh, Lifestyle. Don't forget to search, uh, check out our website as well. My name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning. I am Messi Iboko. We'll join the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. Please stay with us.